वेलकम बैक टू देन फॉर फ्लैक्स इन टूडे ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक आई ओ टी बेस्ड होम ऑटोमेशन प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग ब्लिंक एंड नो डिम सी यू बाई होम ऑटोमेशन वी मीन कंट्रोलिंग अप्लियंसेज विदाउट ए मैनुअल स्विच यूजिंग इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी वी कैन कंट्रोल अप्लियंसेज यूजिंग द ब्लिंक आई ओ टी एप फ्राम एनी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड आई हैव कनेक्टेड फोर लेडीज एज अ प्रोटोटाइप The Wi-Fi module Node MCU will receive commands from the smartphone and also from the web dashboard wirelessly through the internet and turn on and off the LEDs. This project requires internet connectivity and can't work without internet connection. I have already made getting started video on Blink in which I have discussed how to connect Blink app with Node MCU. The link is given below. The Node MCU is a versatile and affordable Wi-Fi module that can be used to connect various electronics projects to the internet. On the other hand, Blink is a powerful IoT platform that provides a user-friendly interface to control and monitor your connected devices remotely. For this project we will require the following components node mcu leds and breadboard connect the inode of the leds with digital pin 2 3 4 and 5 respectively connect the cathode with the ground Click on the templates. Then click on the new template. Give the name to the template and select the required board and click on the done. Then click on the data stream and click on the new data stream and select the virtual pin V0. Enter the required credential like name, data type. Repeat the same process for other three data streams. Then click on the web dashboard. Drag the switch or double click on it and click on the setting. Give the title and link the variable with the switch and click on the save button. Repeat the same process for other 3 buttons. Now the web dashboard is created. Click on the save button. Now click on the search button. Click on the new device. Click on the from the template. 
Select the template we have created and click on the create button. Now copy the credentials. and paste it in the code. Then install the Blink library for the Blink app. I have already discussed how to install the Blink library. After installing the Blink library, we have defined the variables for the LEDs. Enter the name and password of your Wi-Fi router. Then in setup, I have defined LEDs as output device and start the Blink application. In loop, I have run the blink, then I have defined four functions to turn on and off LEDs. After that, select the Node MCU board and upload the code to the ESP8266. If Node MCU board is not installed in your Arduino IDE, then watch my previous video in which I have showed how to install the Node MCU board. The link is given below. The code is uploaded to the Node MCU. We will be able to control the LEDs from the web dashboard. design a mobile dashboard in Blink. Open the Blink app. The template will be appeared which we have created in the web dashboard. Open it. Now click on the setting. Click on the plus sign and add the button. Then link the variable with the button. In similar way, add other three buttons. Then click the back button and developer mode will be closed. After uploading the code successfully to the Node MCU board, you can start controlling the home appliances using the Blink app. All you need is to click on on 
ऑफ बटन ऑन एंड्रॉयड ऐप If you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting projects if you have any questions or suggestions then drop them in comments below thanks for watching